Hello, this is Rakesh Rao from Coordinate Systems. In this GeoTools video, I'm going to show you how you can assign elevations to polylines in an incrementing or decrementing order. This is very suitable for assigning contour elevations. So the command is available in GeoTools under the conversion menu and it's called automatically assign contour elevations. You can also run it from the command line by typing gt underscore ass underscore el. The first prompt is to pick a reference contour, so I'm going to pick this as my reference contour. Now the elevation of this polyline is already set as 25, which is coming from the polyline elevation. You can change it and put any value you want, so let me leave it as 25. Enter contour interval with sign, the default is 1. This is the increment value, you can also set minus 1 or minus 2 for decrementing values. So I'm going to leave it as 1. Pick adjoining contour in order and the default for the next contour is obviously 26. So now I'm going to select all my adjoining contours in order and you can see they are getting highlighted in a cyan color. So this way I'm going to select all the polylines here one by one. Okay, once I'm done and you can see that the last contour that I picked has been assigned an elevation of 50 so I'm going to press enter to finish you can see that all the contours now have changed to red color so I'm done with this so I'm going to press enter now this contour has now been changed to color by entity rather than color by layer so if you want to put it back to color by layer you just select all of it and go back to by layer so now all these contours have been assigned elevations as per the increment that I selected. Say for example I'm going to select this. You can see that it's 41 and this is 45 and so on. There's also a related command called automatically assign contour elevations from text objects but I'm going to show that to you in another video separately. This command runs identically in BrickSCAD as well. So in BrickSCAD also it's available in the same location and using the same command from the command line. Thank you for watching this video and do let me know if you have any questions.